FriarHood.com. I'm here with Jerry, Jeremy Hefner, starting pitcher, Tucson Padres. How's it going, Jeremy? Going well. How are you enjoying the heat? Love it. Love it. Spend some time in Colorado Springs, Salt Lake. Yeah. How's Tucson? I mean, obviously throwing in those uh, those places is like playing on the moon. Right. Not that Tucson is so pitcher friendly, but right. you know, what, what have you seen in terms of uh, the pitchers that have been thrown? Because you haven't thrown here in Tucson yet, have you? Yeah, that's all right. Okay. I threw so, once. Uh, just the wind blows out to left or to right, right center. So you have to, the outfielders have to protect against that. So they play a little deeper. So you give up a little more of the shallow hits, the uh, balls off the end and stuff. But um, that, those are a lot easier to give up for me anyway than thinking about three or four home runs a game. So As opposed to throwing those. in San Antonio when the wind's blowing in. Right, right. And all the, and every ball's caught. So. so how do you transition to that? Because you know at home, you're going to be able to throw a certain type of yeah, way that's going to be more favorable for you. Right. So in San Antonio, when the wind's blowing in, you have a lot of benefit there. Similar to the way you'll be able to deal with when you pitch a Petco, right. but here, what type of adjustments do you make, or, or do you just try to throw the same game you always throw? Uh, to a certain extent, you do. You want to you do um, follow your strengths, but in San Antonio, 2-0, 3-1, you know, you could pump fastballs, see how far they can hit it up into the wind. <laughs> Here, you got to be, you know, you might throw a few more 3 1, 2 0 change ups, um, maybe a breaking ball in those counts. Um, and you have to be a little more selective with going towards the, the third or the corner of the plate instead of working halves um, when the hitter has the advantage in the count. So, so talk about, the, and you had a great year at San Antonio last year. Going into spring training this year, I'm sure you had a good feeling you're going to be starting in AAA. Yeah. You're so close now. Yeah. Is there anything preparation-wise that's different for you? No. Same thing. Uh, my pins are almost the same routine as I had last year, uh, working on my curveball a little more with the feel, um, throwing back door to a lefty and, and throwing it away from a righty. Um, more um, location than, than anything, not necessarily uh, more throwing more pitches during my bullpens or anything, but working on location, uh, change-ups to righties, you know, stuff that's typically not... Uh, worked on as as much because a uh, change up to a lefty is is an important pitch so you work on that a lot but a change up to righty some guys don't work on it as much and, and I, i'm trying to do that outside of baseball you have a family life yeah. married yeah. married have a kid yeah boy boy yeah what's what's your son's name jace how old's your son 13 months you uh start rolling the ball already oh he's throwing he's throwing <laughs> golf balls and baseballs all over the place so. causing havoc yeah <laughs> making yeah. things challenging for your wife i'm yeah, sure that's right well, what do you do when you're not uh, when you're not playing baseball? I mean, obviously, if you can spend time with your family, yeah. you're doing that. But when you're on the road and whatnot, is, is there anything you listen to? Any, any movies you watch while you're on the road? Tell us a little bit about you. I'm not a big movie guy. Um, I'll go. My wife loves movies, so I'll go with her. But as far as just going out and watching a movie or renting a movie on my own, I probably won't do that. But uh, try to play golf and uh, um, getting into crossword puzzles. They're kind of big in baseball. I didn't realize it until I get around some older guys, and that's they do that a lot. So, um, it, and it takes up a little time and keeps you uh, sharp. So, I uh, try to try to mix in some of those and um, just try to relax and and uh, catch up on uh, the big league games and who's doing well up there and stuff. And I mean, guys that I've played with or coming up against are now on TV, and and so getting to watch them and see how they're doing, I, I like to keep up with that too. Great stuff, Jeremy Hefner. Yeah, thank you. Right, Bye bye.